Hello, today I'm here with a new video and uh, yeah, it's a first impression, but this time it's not an eyeshadow palette, it's a foundation. Uh, I usually don't buy so many new foundations, I find a foundation I love and I use it all the time. But I has been so intrigued to test the ordinary foundation and this is the serum foundation, it's a lightweight serum formula. And it's a cheap as foundation. So I'm going to test this one today. And I took the color 1.0 NS. And that's very fair natural with silver highlights. And I have fair skin tone. And I have a neutral undertone. I'm a little bit more to the yellow than the pink. But... Foundations with a little pink usually work for me, but with a lot of pink I just look pink in my face. But I can't have too much yellow because then I look... It doesn't look good. So I took the neutral with the silver highlights. And I don't know what this silver highlight is supposed to do. I googled a lot and people seem to love this. So I thought we could test it. And in Sweden we have some of the ordinaries at H&M. But only skincare and not makeup. So it was a little <sighs> gambling. And it looks like this. And I think it's. I think it looks very pink. But I compared it with the, the foundation I usually use. And this is more pink than this one. So that's good. Because this is. Not too pink, but almost too pink for me. And this is too dark and this seemed a little bit lighter. So we will see. Um, I s will start with having foundation at half of my face. So you can see the color difference. And I will start with a snotty nose. <laughs> I will start with some primer. And I have used the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factor plus HA uh, to moisturize my face. I have a new clean face. And yada yada yada. So we're gonna spray this. So just going to let this sink in. And I'm going to apply this with a sponge. I always apply my foundation with a sponge. Because I think it's the best. And it said on the packaging that you are just shake before you use. Dispense a small amount into the palm or the back of your hand. Smooth on and blend throughout the face. Ideally outwards from the midpoint of the face. So it seems that you can put this on with your hands. I hate to put on foundation with my hands. I have done it before but I just I can't stand it because ugh, I don't like it at all. So I'm going to use my sponge and this is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. I don't know what this is called but yeah. S stop babbling and <laughs> just go into the foundation. So yeah. Um, you're supposed to shake this. And we will try and see if I can have this without lining up. Um, yeah. It's it's very watery. But it's a lightweight foundation. And it is a pump. And I like it. I have pumped it out before and it's super runny. I don't know if you can see it, but it rins away. Okay, I will start with this side of my face. And it's super lightweighted, yes. I like my foundations to be dewy. And I want them to have a... light medium coverage i hate full coverage foundations um i have never liked it maybe because i have a good skin so i don't have so much to cover but i just don't like full coverage foundations Okay, I think this is a little bit too dark. 
And I was afraid that this was going to be too pink for me, but it's not. So that's good, but I think it is a little tiny, tiny bit too dark for me. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, I can't see it in the viewfinder. But in real life, it seems a little bit too dark. But it's, it's very light coverage, so maybe I can get away with it. Just have to drag it down on my neck, but I always do that. But it seems a little bit too dark, unfortunately. But I don't really know, maybe not. But I can really see it here on my neck. I just have to take a little mirror. I can really see where I have the foundation on my neck and where I don't have it. <sighs> I hate this. It lays very good on the skin. I could not... If you didn't know, I don't think you would know that I have foundation. Because it's so lightweight. And it's really sunken in to my skin. And that, it looks amazing. I am impressed. It really look like my skin. And because it is so lightweight, it haven't covered the red on my nose. It still shines through, or peek through maybe. It doesn't shine a fudging bit. I would say that this is a perfect everyday foundation because I, I can't almost see that I have a foundation on but here on my hand it seems like it has oxidized a little bit and I am afraid with this light coverage I can have a foundation that is a little bit too dark for me because it is so light cover but if this is going to oxidize I'm screwed I don't know if you can see any difference from the foundation side to the not foundation side. It says even it out, but it doesn't seem that I have any foundation on. And in one way that's good. I maybe should zoom you in a little bit to the side with the foundation. And hello light! Can you come back, maybe? So, this is the side with the foundation, and this is the side with no foundation. And, as you see, it evens the skin out. It doesn't add so much color. And it lays really, really good on the skin. And it's not... It's not sticky at all. This side is almost even more sticky. I excuse the lights, I... we have to do it like this. <laughs> but I think it's better with a little bit darker so you can see the difference. So the side with foundation, I don't know if you can see, but here, red, here on my nose, it's not covered. But this is my normal skin and you see, I have a good skin. But I'm a little bit red here on my cheeks, and here it's the foundation is even it out. And I don't know if it's visible, but it is tiny, tiny bit too dark. But I think I can work with this because it's so lightweight. You usually can do with a little bit too dark foundation because it's not so much cover, so it doesn't look too shabby. And yeah, this is perfect everyday foundation or like a foundation 
if you don't want it to show that you have foundation but you want foundation this is good foundation because it really looks like skin and I think nobody would tell that I have foundation on when I have this and it was very easy to work with so if you want a super light foundation this is for you I don't know how it will hold up without a foundation I had with this light coverage it's faded through the day but you it's not so visible because it's so light coverage and that's good and now yeah, I really like this. I think I can go out with this. I can. I just have to put it on my neck. So I will put foundation on the rest of my face as well. So the foundation is on my whole face and I really like this. It feels and it seems like I have no foundation on at all but it is <laughs> I need a big mirror it is okay now I think the cats behind me is going to start a fight soon maybe it's a little it didn't speak too dark I am used to that because that's the case with almost everyone everyone almost every foundation but I think I I can use it on its own it doesn't seem like it's too dark so I am really impressed this is can you see them <laughs> this is I wouldn't I don't know if I would call this a foundation maybe BB cream or something and I don't you don't have to set this one my face feels so good so I really really like this one if you want a very light light coverage a foundation that really looks like skin this is for you I am so impressed with this I will do a wear test on this one um, so I will come back later today now the clock is half past one so I will come back later and tell you what I think about this but as this far I really like it I will set this with some powder and I will see you later today and we'll see what I think but as right now I am really impressed I really like it it doesn't feel like I have any foundation on and I like that feeling I hate like a cakey face so I am really happy with this so I will be back later and we will see how it holds up throughout the day hello I'm in for a little checkup on my foundation it has been four hours since I put it on and it has disappeared from my nose, but um, else it's looking good. It's very similar as when I put it on. It's only my nose where it has disappeared and a little around here and on my nose. But I did not set this foundation with the powder. I just put on my contour and my blush and my highlight which was super easy to do so I am really impressed with this it still looks good on my skin and it's only the nose that we have a little bit of problem but I have that with every foundation I try so I I am really happy and it has not oxidized I think it's hard to see this uh, when it's not natural lighting but I don't think it's oxidized so I think I can have this on without mixing it out and now 
<laughs> the lighting is not so good. And yeah, I'm really satisfied. Because it is a cheap foundation and it's a light coverage foundation. So I am really surprised about such a light foundation to be as good as this is after four hours. And uh, I will have one last checkup. I think I will come back uh, maybe in four hours more um, if I still have my makeup on. But it would be good to have it on for eight hours I think. So now it's been four hours and the foundation is still good. Uh, only the nose, nothing special. But otherwise it's still good. So I will come back in four hours. And I did not use any setting spray today either. I only have put on concealer and powder uh, underneath my eyes, but in another way, no powder, no setting spray or anything, so I'm super impressed. So I will see you in a couple of hours and then we will see how the foundation is holding up. Now I'm in for the last checkup and it has been 8 hours now, um, and yeah. What do I think? I think it still looks good. Not so much has happened on these last four hours. I got like no foundation on my nose, but I'm not surprised. And the rest of the face, I think it's holding up pretty good. Um, no powder and no setting spray and all that's happened is the nose. The rest of the face it looks really good, maybe a little bit on the shin. And I have taken away my red lipstick so I maybe are a little bit pink around my lips but yeah I'm really with this foundation it has held up really good for not yeah, I only used the primer to get it to stay better but no powder no setting spray and it still looks this good I'm surprised I didn't think it was going to be this much left after eight hours so I'm really impressed with this foundation and I don't know where I put it in the drawer I think I'm I can recommend this if you don't need much coverage and if you want it to hold even better you can set it with foundation, foundation with the powder but I don't think it's necessary and it has not oxidized anything so I can use this foundation I think without lightening up and that is a super good thing for me because I always have to do that. So I am really happy with this foundation, I can recommend it for you if you have dry skin, that's all I can make its reference because I have it myself. I think if you got oily skin, it maybe gets too shiny throughout the day without any powder, because I have a little bit of shine in my forehead, I don't think you can see it, I don't see it in the viewfinder, but if you have oily skin, I think that can peek through. But I really liked it and I hope you liked this video. This is my first. This video I do um, in English when I do a wear test of a foundation. But I'm really happy. This maybe is one of my new favorites. I don't know yet. But it's a really good foundation and I can really recommend it. And I can link it down below. I bought mine from Beauty Bay and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please, please, uh, I don't know why it is so hard, please press like and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!